Hello everyone, and welcome to the second episode of Malator Builds. Today we're going to talk about using the single voxel line tool, uh, how you can use it in various ways, the limitations of it, and how to get around those limitations. I've been able to do some pretty neat tricks with it. I'm creating some voxels over here that I will use later when doing micro voxels. So as I'm showing here, I'll show in a couple different ways that whenever you use the single voxel line tool on some angles, it doesn't actually produce a 45 degree angle. So you have to play with it a little bit and find the angle that it actually works on. And you see here, I have a perfect 45 degree angle, so I'm going to take that. Since there is such a difficulty creating angles with this tool, I'm just copying this and pasting it, flipping it on the X and Y axes, and putting it on the other side, so that way we don't have to mess with it. And then I'll go back and add the 45 degree angle to this side once again. And now you can see we have something that we can use as a perfect 45 degree railing. And once you have this created, there's several things that you can do. You can just take the 45 degree slope and copy it directly from the railing. And then we're going to paste it back in over here. And you'll notice the way that I paste these in. We're actually creating a, another railing, but it's a lot smaller. And unfortunately, this is really about the smallest that you can get with this because whenever you do smoothing on the 45 degree angle of this size, it almost turns it back into a square. So it's best if you're going to use it, just use it like this. You notice I copied a, a few of the voxels here and I'm just going to paste them back in. I'm going to create a, a decent size rail. I had a little artifact in here that I'm going to quickly remove by pasting it back in. Alright, now if I was going to create a banister for stairway, I would do this method, copy it in, and I'm going to use the microvoxels that I set out earlier to create the actual post for the railing. So just careful here to paste it in the proper place. All right, at this point, I'm going to grab the 45 degree angle voxel again and just paste it back in in a couple places to smooth out the rail and make it a little bit more uniform. And voila, it's a perfect 45 degree railing, fairly skinny, so it'll look nice on your stairways. I hope this was helpful to you and thank you very much for visiting. Like, subscribe, and favorite if you enjoyed this video or any of my others. Thank you.